Good morning, traders. Uh, Stephen Davis, RJO Futures here in uh, Chicago. Happy Friday to everybody. Talk to you about the grain markets a little bit this morning. Uh, the corn market's down four, soybeans are down 20, and wheat is down five. Uh, corn market, very good demand driven. Uh, uh, corn market here. The USDA announcing a very nice uh, uh, sales of U.S. corn to Egypt this morning. So it just continues. Uh, uh, and I, I think it's going to continue uh, here, our, our, our selling of corn to the world. Mexico's buying a lot of U.S. corn. you got Egypt in here buying a, a corn this morning. So a very good demand-driven uh, story in corn. Uh, perhaps corn is going to hold these higher levels going into the planting season. And then type of some type of snafu in, in planning this spring uh, could bring corn to a higher trading range. Uh, as uh, winter turns into spring here and new crop supply and demand moves to the forefront, uh, certainly uh, uh, every grain analyst will tell you there's going to be a lot of grain around perhaps in the fall. So, but we ain't there yet and, and uh, look for corn to kind of hold uh, uh, these higher levels here going into the planning season. Monday, a week from Monday, we have the March 31st planning's intention, so we'll talk to you about that next week. Uh, early uh, reports, or acres going into soybeans uh, um, uh, at the expense of corn. <clears throat> I do have to tell you, uh, the, the U.S. farmer, very, very comfortable planting corn. So there was an agricultural consultant came out uh, the other day, uh, acres into soybeans this spring. It was five, six, seven million more acres than last year in soybeans. And what did the soybean market do? Continue to march higher. So uh, you do have managed fund longs in soybean and corn. In fact, uh, the major five agricultural markets, the managed funds have the longest long positions, bullish positions since 2012. So you got a feedable market every day. Obviously today with soybeans down 20, you're not, uh, uh, the buying is, is not here. And uh, what we say back and fill and soybeans will go a little bit lower and, and try to bring buyers in that way. Um, be careful, you know, soybeans were supposed to sell off all winter long and they have not. So just be careful with this and, and uh, um, we'll just see see how it all goes. Um, the wheat market has rallied from $6 to $7 and just uh, truly uh, political and emotional fashion and uh, we got higher on March 3rd and never looked back so uh, um, certainly if we've got problems planting corn this spring perhaps corn can trade the same way so you know the the newspapers this week uh, commenting on uh, breakfast commodities how they're all higher uh, coffee wheat and uh, keep in mind we don't trade according to headlines in the newspapers but it is very good information and certainly these grain markets are candidates for the next bull market barring some type of weather snafu here in the northern hemisphere so we'll talk to you next week about this very important march 31st planning report at the end of the month and great day and great trade trading thank you futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors